haven't heard, you need to. She is outstanding. She said in her debut in three games, 32, 18, and 35 points. Keep your eye on Ray Marshall. She's one of the top stop blockers in the country, one of the best defensive players. We take a peek at the Pirates starting five. It's been a scattered starting five to their first four games of the season, but they scored a three and one record. We have been five games on the front of the team. Opening kick one by the Trojans. Started as the number 21 ranked team in the country. And after that, game one win against Ohio State, they are called up to number eight. They will not meet the Buckeyes in this corner. Watching, that's one fly to South Texas. That's set by Steve Hall. That's set by Steve Hall. All the Trojans are still running into that kick. So it's easy to watch and get the first look. And this is a little selfish one in Boston. They don't mind watching what you can do. This is on top of the flex set. It's also an unselfish passer as well. Get this kick to the corner. Bring that open and out front to Tia. And Steve Paul Taylor is the former game of the game. We know that Steve Paul is playing one mark. 82, 63, 18 against New Jersey rivals. Rutgers is their last time out. After that win, they just need them to a rival. And USC will have size at almost every position on the floor, so it's going to be important to really move the ball. Watching, they should not be far too. He is so tall to pour it up to the side screen. Up to the way, look out. Look out, look out, look out. And USC figures, so I'm just in front of our broadcast set up here. And of course, it's really now with wins over Ohio State, Florida, Gulf Coast. And a freshman from basketball school in Syracuse, Lamar. He transferred the things he got with the Soldier team closer to their home and connected in New York. Watch out there, Perry. Ray and Marshall. You asked Tony to help do something to advance our game, and he's going to be first in line. Steve Paul is on the board. The guy for the team came and told us to fall down the transfer by way of two games and give him Here's the other crosses. You know, I noticed the effect of the text report on the stadiums and color text, and all of these things have a fabulous gift that you can have texts. Not for long, but a lot of the support of the church, they put that down to my table. That's where we are going. Three bars from the team. Here they stop in the bucket. Tries to go over the bit of Marshall. And then it appears again, numbers to the church that they heard. Colors for the Steve Hall team and for his coach pictures. Lee T. Pods, not on for Tampa Bay Teller. And he told him to bring one mark to the first four games. Solid pass. To the bucket, Craig can't finish. Every touch to him, shot clock at one. And then it brings you Connie, third season head coach for the USC Trojans. From college, Cleveland Cavalier, two years as his sister from the NBA staff. Hello, Steve Marshall gets to work. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, everyone. Watching, so we got a nice picture to try. That's a good start. Big Sunday Day Sunday. Back to the bucket, squares up, and lets you get in. Marshall clears another court. Marshall is a walking double-double. After being 16 and 9 for the very four games, there's Kajina across the corner. It's a 13 3 Trojan place. It brings us to our first meeting tied up. And it's a two game play. They'll take on 10 seats from the PM game on Wednesday. Here's the pick from England's championship. The ball on the deck. Aggressive off the balance of Steve Hall. The team skating. Next to next. We now have a great grab by USC. It's the freshman of the day of Samuel. So the Trojan two games defense for the first time in this first quarter. As you know, the All-Stars are in the final of the Off the Iverson Tech. She's so good in that misdirection. And then Smith's behind that screen. So good at putting her defender in jail. Here's the one kick. All right, so we'll to the free throw line. 
Attacking right. Inside out basketball. Bain to triple from the corner. Only glass. Rebound over to put back is there. Good hustle by Davis on the glass. Bain is getting a lot of shots and a lot of opportunity. That goes to grad student Paige Satterfield. They put all in the garbage and a good start to the second quarter. The United Trojans will get Seaton Hall. They'll get Penn State on Wednesday. Both are the 9 p.m. kickoff. Penn State looks good today. They for 29 points off of 25 turnovers. The same has got that ultimate green light for Tony Brazella. Third Jeff will make it a season for Bain. He's only if he wants to go to the For a last point, he has three rebounds against the ball. That was a third and three good. That's by the way, he's the only season just for last year. The, what used to be rare, he thought this was a third and coming in the middle of the second half. You know, the rules of the transfer once, and it doesn't matter where, but the second transfer is where the whole nation is up in arms about labor. I don't know if any of these kids are ever going to get them, you know, it's just a way to rule them, but it's interesting how the issue that we're going to change is so much. Open three, straight on, high off the other. Yeah, I think by Davis. Davis is really much for their side. She's done a nice job following on the interior. It's been a lot of times, I said, several days ago, it's not going to be a good time for them. We noted Pirates getting some of the looks they like, only shooting 26% from the field here in the early going. And it's a 10-point game. 
Baines again, Eli to him. Good finish to the left side. Tony Bazzella drawing up, draw up a good ATO right there to get it within eight. And Baines to that left hand, that's exactly where she wants to go. Baines team back 25 points, eight rebounds. With that 19 point win against Rutgers. Loose ball picked up by the Pirates. Right, snuff stuffed that one out. And a little block by Gugin. Canceled out by Watkins. I mean, this is a tremendous Green has it on the roll. Heidi Kenny Joker Pikia. And she takes advantage. Clear out to Pikia. Watch it. And this ready to go. The ladies are on the court ready for you as she watches for a second free throw. They go one for a flat in the matchup that they like. She gets a good work. It was a second by off the iron for Mikey Gray. Has been special. So she can make plays like that. 
Marshall, taking four out of the lead down. All five starters got the score sheet early. Just one bench point for the season. Tyson Ball screens, then a switch. Nice job to hit the pull up front shot. That's a great way to get going to see the ball. Getting first shot points. One of eight for the field from Gray. The rest of the tournament, 14 three point no shot out of the country. Watkins again. Holding up the left elbow. Forced to pick up the dribble. Eight out of ten for the crazy. Gordon puts some contact on it. That is a strong train on four. This is part of the reason why I like her game so much. You know, she had a role at Harvard. She had to score. She played at Cal also, so she's familiar with top 12 hoops. That is the only area of four that struggles this season. Two close meetings. In the time after the time, they still have one of them. It's a three-point play for the Chargers. Running in transition, in injection. Marshall canceled out, but it's not what calls her on watching. So Marshall trying to pick up a new streak of 53 consecutive games with a block. And in the interim here, looks like we're getting double technical with one on each team. Well, if that's a double technical, they're cancel out and into the technicals of equal gravity, which means you go back to the point of interruption. That's why no one shoots free throws. So the technical going in big pace presence in Michael and David. They continue to battle here. And what happens to the Eastern Seaton Hall? Another drag transfer. It's the third and final school started at Ohio State, but it came in the corner. Continued with two more years of Xavier. Set on the cover. David Seaton Hall. Good news. Well, there's Tom. Good news. Good Taylor Casey is transferred by Oregon for the nine games last season before missing the rest of the injury. Nearly a slip there for right to recovery. Three pointers, Gray. On the play and down. Now, Michael Gray is starting to get hot. 14 May 3 is coming into the game. Just push right there on that exchange with two hands. And He's been walking, triggers underneath the right pin. Gets it back from David. Watkins curls into the lane, but Florida is here. Watkins navigating through defenders. Just a really strong take. I mean, she has wide shoulders, has a frame that can handle her in court. So it's 35 points for that win against the morning. 51 point win against the morning. Second most points by a freshman in USC history, and South Africa's Stella Miller, who put up 39 points in a 1982 game against North Rutgers. And she's going to have a lot of good nights. Great point to the team. And they're walking through fourth and double figures so far for the Trojans. Black Rock down to fifth for USC. Davis gets the motor running. Oh, it's good. And it's so hard to guard from the high point. And you got a big frame right, Davis. Off the bounce. It is another one who comes from an athletic family. Has an RJ. Uh, North Carolina's men's basketball team is playing this for a big year. Played at Hamilton Park. Still going to take away. And the bounce by Chuck by Seton Hall. Looking to move to an unblemished 4 0 on his young season. Navigating through the pressure. Juju Watkins, 13 points. He leads all USC players. It's a game of games that he calls scores with 14. David. Another finish down low between the two blue defenders. So athletic, just like a drop in the bucket right there. Good execution by Lindsey Gottlieb's team off the timeout. David, his former team, played in the first game of the day, Columbia. Had the first triple double in Lions history 19 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists. Off ball whistle. You shouldn't throw it because that could be a pitch six going the other way. No harm done, though. With the C second down. 
Foul off ball. This one also on Seton Hall on the defensive end. Lindsey Gottlieb, the head coach for USC, spent eight years at Cal, worked in the NBA, graduate of Brown. Got her coaching career started early when she had a knee injury. And instead of playing her senior year, she became a student assistant. And it's worked out pretty well for her, I'd say. <laughs> and the day after she graduated, got her first coaching job as an assistant at Syracuse. And the charity strike not being too charitable for the Pirates. One of four. Shot clock at eight. And everyone gets in touch for the Trojan. Nice pocket pass. Each time she's released, all eight is gone through. This game has really slowed down, right? It had a fast pace early. A Southern Cal having a, an effect on Seton Hall. Well, there's the first move from anywhere on the court today from Davis. But the offensive rebound supply by G2 Watkins. Checking the shot clock. This did not a reset to a full 30 off in this free throw. It's down to 14 for the Trojans. The next here by Samuel. Watkins calling for the screen, doesn't use it. Goes right alley, can't finish. 32, 18, and 35 to three scoring outputs in the first three games of Watkins' career. Got a clear off for Baines to be driven right down the left lane. Instead, it's the freshman Catalan. Kick out, three on the timer, three on its way, level down. It's Marshall. Turnover. Gray, high, low feed. It was on target. Teams didn't bring it in. We see something a lot to the other side of the rim. Marshall making it look easy. That's a tough basket right there. A six. Juju Watkins. This is Ayana Lox. First shot of the night off the back iron. And again, here comes Watkins. Lox is face ahead for the number one recruit in the country. So shifty. Great change of pace. Off the flare, no. Marshall. Foul by Lox. 98 blocks to set a Trojans record. Second most projection for the country. Kinsey Gottlieb saying, even off the court, Marshall has become a better leader, better player. Final 10 seconds, third quarter, shot clock turned off at the Trojans offense. Green light turned on. I would love to let her. I wouldn't let her shoot it. She's triple three. on three at her. He's Debbie Antonelli. I'm Johnny Wincott. And he's stuck with us. They're now four and three quarter teams on this busy Monday. We'll do it all again on Wednesday. USC will have a 9 p.m. tip against Penn State. And Seton Hall will be first on the court against the other Pirates at 11 a.m. start against East Carolina. So a Zane of Ames with 16 points on 18 shots. He got five rebounds to go with that as well. Now they're running two at Watkins. He's trying to find the open player. It's Padilla. Well, it's a blocking shot. Second free throw here for Kayla Padilla. For a seven points this evening. Three rebounds at a time. Pirates facing a 19 point deficit. Great feed down low this time. White right, right handle. And she finishes. A Seton Hall team. They threw their first four games. Scoring over 70 points per game. That's a key triple from Forbes. Rattles in and out. Marshall, another old board. Two twenty seconds for the Trojans. She won't use it. Misses the short corner. Bray meanders around the screen. Picked up by Watkins. Timer dwindling at seven. The countdown begins for the bench. Great speed. Great finish. Amari Wright facilitates. And McKenna White, after no bench points for the entire team, has passed for that bucket. Triple try. Only class from Watkins. One of five from distance is Watkins. Entered the game 61% from downtown. So 
Cowboys. Keaton Hall looking to take advantage of the offensive end. They've held the Trojan scorers over the last three and a half minutes. Great speed again down the team. Timeout, three consecutive buckets by White. Playing a factor, and now they're going to come and play some zone. They've picked it up. Good coaching, good adjustment. Nearly four minutes since the last point for USC. But they'll go to the free throw line. You know, it's been pretty much amazing in every basketball facet. Free throw shooting maybe needs a little bit of an improvement. Well, I just think she's going to get fouled a lot, so she's going to go to the line a lot. Well, it becomes a three-point play. Marshall cleans up the target. And they will have that day off tomorrow, of course, but they go from the final game of Monday to the first game of Wednesday. Oh, play oh. is pure. Just to change the rhythm of the game, I think it's important to change the rhythm of the game. Watching's off the screen. So unselfish. Jump key down low. Marshall from close quarters. Little strong off glass. Rebound from McKenna White. He's had a great second half here for Seton Hall. It's an open play, corner three. No, no. no. That could have been huge. Big rebound by Marshall. Oh, good steal. Ray, down low, Satterfield finishes. Good hustle. Satterfield, Ray, and Davis. Right on the defensive end. Now you got a little game pressure on Southern Cal. That's exactly what you wanted if you're Tony Bazell. Ball on Look the right. right. Look at the steal right here. Game with it. Stephen Hall gets the timeout. Tony Gozella onto the court. Talked about the propensity for Tony Gozella to draw up good plays out of the break. They can use one here. 11 point game. White waits for Trey. Steps into the tree. Front rim, no go. What a look. He's what a great watching. look. The important rebound. Big board. Good match for a much better look. I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> Did everything but go in. Watching great speed at the right clock. I mean, he has been very, very unselfish. We talked about it early in the game. Certainly seeing why Marshall's stats have increased. You're waiting at the left block. Open layup when Watkins gives it to you. Hard take to the team. Right to finish. Tried to use the right hand down the left one. I think that missed three by Gray might have been the last shot that Seton Hall had, meaning they were down 11, right? That could have cut it to eight. I would just keep the ball and watch some fans here in late clock. Seems like a good idea. You can see the frustration, you know, by her body language. I'm telling you, she has put the time in. I bet she wants to get in here tonight and see some free throws. <laughs> it's the final game. I don't think anyone's going to stop her. Final 120. James back to her feet. Satterfield, another finish in the right block. Really nice. Are they not what? done yet? No, they're not. I mean, they, they can get a stop right here and get a bucket. I would say they have put some game pressure on Southern Cal, though. They forced them to execute late. The DA no look need some contacts at Rocco. If you drop it off and you do all the work and you get to the paint and you drop it off and your big guy doesn't score it, that's called a coach's assist. So you get credit in the film session even though it's not on the stat sheet. It's a real thing. Which one is more valuable to a student athlete? Well, obviously the assist that you get on the stat sheet, but from a team standpoint, and from watching film and building your offensive philosophy, if you can get it and they miss the layup, Lindsey Gottlieb will give her credit in the film session. It's called a coach's assist. We'll move the eighth ranked team in the country to 4 0. Seton Hall will sink to 3 and 2. Trojans will get back at it Wednesday, the final game at 9 p.m. tip against Penn State. The Pirates first game Wednesday at 11 in the morning. Your final in the fifth and final game on this busy Monday at Baja Mar. The eighth ranked USC Trojans 64 and the Seton Hall Pirates 54. We are joined by the aforementioned Rhea Marshall. <laughs> 
Um, I'll leave it pretty open ended to start. 10 point win against Seton Hall. Just your basic impression from the win against the Pirates, your first game here at Baja Mar. Um, it was a fun affair. I thought our coaching prepped as well as far as our game prep and, and our coaches, we knew who we were coming out to do. And I was just dominate both things over four. Duran, when you come over here and you look at 14 points and 15 rebounds, what do you think? Well, I. I just think the dominant effort is just coming out going over the next day for my team to win. So I'm watching you last year, and now I see you this year playing with Juju, and the space on the floor changes a little bit, and you have opportunities to catch and score around the paint that are a little bit maybe easier at times. How has she helped affect your game, and how has she made your team better? This is amazing. I mean, when you have guards like that coming off the screen, that can score, whether it's in the paint, three-point pull-up, it makes my job a ton, a ton, a lot easier, actually, because it's like the defense, they don't know if they play up on her, play back on her, and whatever they do, she's, she's a, such a great passer, she's finding me on these open reads.